Hello, artist. It's me, Mrs. A. I've been seeing a lot of butterflies in my yard lately, so I'm going to teach you how to make your very own clay dough butterfly. This is what they'll look like after they're painted, but first you need to make the clay dough. Hello, Lincoln artists. I heard you've been learning about butterflies lately, so I'm going to teach you how to make a really cool clay recipe. It's a clay dough recipe, and what I love about this recipe is it actually dries white, whereas some recipes that have flour in it will turn it off white. So this one's gonna dry bright white. All you're gonna need is baking soda and cornstarch. So I am going to use one cup of baking soda. I already measured it out. I'm going to use a half a cup of cornstarch and three-fourths cups of water. First, you're gonna add the dry ingredients, which is the one cup of baking soda and the half cup of cornstarch. And now you're gonna add the water. So I need, I have a quarter cup here, but I need three fourths cup. So I'm gonna put three scoops of this in. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and now I'm going to stir it. It's going to start to separate from the side. So make sure if you do decide to make this that your parents help you. And you want the consistency to be thick like cake frosting. So you can see there's still some clumps. So I need to keep stirring it. So as it bubbles, it starts to thicken and you want it to be thick like cake frosting. So you can see how thick it is there. It's not even like coming off the spoon. So it's gonna be way too hot to touch, so don't touch it. I'm gonna set it aside. I'm gonna put it in this bowl over here to cool off. And I'll come back to it after it's cool enough to touch with my hands. Once it's cool to the touch, then you can take it out and work with it. This isn't something that you want to leave sitting overnight because it will dry. So you're gonna take it all out. Put it on a cutting board and you're gonna knead it like you're kneading dough. And roll it into a ball. So you want it to be a little sticky, but you don't want it to actually stick to your hand. So if you find that it's sticking to your hands, like it's really, really tacky, all you need to do is add a little bit of baking soda to your cutting board and re-knead the ball and the baking soda will help it from not being too sticky. So now what we're gonna wanna do, I'm not gonna use all of this, I'm just gonna take a little bit out. Place it on your cutting board and flatten it with your hand or use a rolling pin. You want it to be about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch thick. Then take something like a kebab skewer or a toothpick or a sharp pencil and draw the shape of a butterfly. Look at a diagram of a butterfly to make sure you get the abdomen and the wings all in the correct spot that you learned about in class. So now I'm pushing hard enough to go through the clay dough and taking the pieces off. You can also use a cookie cutter if you have one. I don't have a cookie cutter shaped like a butterfly, but you can use this to make other projects as well. You might need to reshape your butterfly a little bit. The clay mixture recipe was enough to make three butterflies and I have a little extra left. This butterfly is kind of big. I recommend making them a little smaller, maybe about, about this size, um, because then they'll be less delicate and the wings shouldn't break off if they're smaller. You're going to want to wait about 24 hours for this to dry. I put mine outside in the sun and it dried faster. Notice how this one has some holes in the wings. The holes were made with a straw and I'm gonna add string to it so that I can hang it up someplace. One of the butterflies I've been seeing in my yard lately has the best name ever. It's the Painted Lady Butterfly. I painted one of my clay butterflies to look like this one. I used watercolor paint to paint my butterfly. You can also use acrylic or tempera paint, and you can also mix glitter into the dough mixture.
There are many different kinds of butterflies. I recommend to look up a picture of a butterfly before you paint it. What you might notice about all the butterflies is their wings are the same on both sides. That means that they are symmetrical because they are the same on both sides. So keep that in mind when you're painting your butterflies. Another butterfly I've been seeing in my yard is the morning cloak butterfly. So I painted one of my butterflies to look like this one. If you're having a difficult time with painting it, you can also use permanent markers to color the wings. I hope you enjoy this project. I can't wait to see your butterflies.